This week on Generation Next, we're talking about the PlayStation Store's new look, more trophy changes are incoming, and we've got our tech expert Michael Hyam back to answer all of your final questions about the Xbox Series X. I'm joined by PlayStation Pro Tamar Hussein. Absolutely dripping for new consoles, lads. Dripping. Just drenched here. Waterlogged. <laughs> He not, he not only went for it, he kept adding to it. He kept yeah, and adding I thought, on to it. I thought he was running out of those. Um, no. No. No, okay. there's more. People have people have up are upset in the comments, and to those people, I want to, I want you to know I hear you and I don't care. <laughs> and Xbox expert Jordan Romay. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Let's get into it. Get in, losers, we're going shopping. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. The PlayStation Store's got a brand new look. Uh, Tam, I'm gonna come to you for this one. So we've got a overhaul of sorts for the PlayStation Store, brand new layout. Um, major things to note from this new layout is the, or the changes to the PlayStation Store as a whole, is it discontinues support for PS3, PSP, and PS Vita, as well as the DLC add-ons and the web mobile access around that stuff. Um, RIP to all mm -hmm. those consoles and the content. But if there's any consolation, if you're on those consoles, you can still buy um, the content and games using the store on there. So um, just make sure you're charged and all your, your details are correct and you're good. Um, PS4 apps, themes, avatars, and wish list have all been removed. Um, rest in peace to all of that nonsense that was clogging up the <laughs> store. Um, I think I changed my avatar maybe once in the entire time that I have had my PS4. Did you so ever I use Wishlist on PS4? I don't think I ever once. I did not know it existed a until like, right now. Didn't know it existed. Uh, the only thing I can think of regarding themes is I always get a theme that um, comes with like whatever game I'm playing. Hmm. Uh, so one day I went through the themes. Uh, and there is a Princess Diana theme on mm -hmm. PlayStation 4. And um, let's just say a lot of dashboard jokes when I tweeted that one out. Oh my God. <laughs> Everyone like replying and quote tweeting. But yeah, wow. if you if you want a trip, go on your PS4 console and look at the themes. <laughs> look, at, look at the ones that like, I don't know, just have a look. There are some bizarre ones in there. There's some borderline should not be on their anime girl ones as well. But I was like, <laughs> how have you made it onto this? Because Apply. no one's looking at the theme stamp, so no one's policing the content. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is I downloaded all of them. So you can't, <laughs> you're too late now, Sony. I've already, I'm already too powerful. <laughs> um, so... Uh, on the new, on the new uh, redesigned version of the PlayStation Store, you can now pre-order PS5 games. You can't filter settings, uh, filter listings. Sorry, um, uh, there's no size info on some of this stuff, which is like, come on, people want to know that stuff. It's basic stuff, um, and you no longer can see like gameplay and video, uh, video gameplay and screenshots that like you used to uh, in in the previous version of it, which I kind of liked. I used to like hover over game yeah. gameplay of stuff and see what's going on. Um, and then the other ones like titles can't be added f to the cart from a list view and cardinal sin of design at this at this stage in 2020. There's no dark mode. What are you doing, <laughs> Sony? You've got to have a dark mode option. Some people really need it. Well, if you're only having, you know, like a white PS5, you know, mm. maybe, yeah. they're, maybe they're- No not darkness. Stuck. No, yeah, they're just not mm -hmm. committing to dark mode at Hate this it. point. I, yeah, I'm, I took a look at the new store. I, I actually like the new layout, but I, the first thought that popped into my head was, ooh, I would like a, I would like a dark mode. It's very bright. Let's move on then, uh, because trophies are changing. Now, we spoke a couple weeks ago about the changes they were making to the trophy system last night. Uh, mine finally ticked over to the new one. I'm kind of enjoying being in the 200s now instead of like 14. <laughs> um, but Sony again, <laughs> bringing back one of Xbox's great features that they seem to have abandoned. <laughs> Uh, so Jordan, I love I'll come this. to you for this one. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's that's a good idea, and mm. Xbox isn't doing it anymore. So MP first, living up to their name, notice this first. The fact that if you like look on the UI walkthrough, some of the trophies seem to be tied to 
rewards that you can use for avatars and themes and whatnot. Like unlocking this trophy will give you this profile banner or this profile avatar or something like that. And that's something that Xbox did a lot in the 360 days. Like I remember my avatar being decked out in a bunch of Saints Row and Mass Effect and Dark yeah, mine, Souls stuff. Mine had, yeah, um, mine had the Normandy and I had like mm -hmm. a cowboy hat from Red Dead. Uh, and at one point, I had Elizabeth's dress from Bioshock Infinite. It was nice. I really liked that. It was a really that. cool way of being able to like see at a glance like what achievements people had in that game. Yeah. And I remember making my avatar for Xbox One and just making it a blank slate. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to add all the new crazy clothes options and stuff like that. And I don't know if Xbox decided to stop doing that or if just developers were just tired yeah. of doing that. Maybe they were just more concerned with ensuring that Jordan Ramey would be screwed over with achievement numbers that weren't <laughs> multiples of five. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, that was it. This is a targeted that. attack on yeah. you. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I mean, so is this exciting for anyone else? I really like this. Like I don't actually really pay attention all that much to my avatar on PlayStation, but I might now that there are like rewards tied to certain trophies like mm. you're you're a playstation person more than i am lucy like do you care about this at all <laughs> i'm more interested to see what it will look like because i've had my my avatar on playstation for as lo for uh, the last few years has been my picture i imported it from facebook and when they got rid of the integration i just uploaded it uh i did it on the web version and so that's what my image is um, profile banners is an interesting one for me because I really like taking in-game screenshots and setting those as my banner. Right now, um, I have all the, um, the cat toys from Control, the ones that do this, um, cause I spent like three hours doing that side quest. So really wanted a photo mode celebration of it. Um, so I'm interested to see if we'll still be able to do that or if everything is going to be locked, uh, into destruction, all stars, trophies. Mm, I think like further gamifying trophies is just a, a smart, smart thing to do yeah. like people are already obsessed with it and if you're going to give them rewards beyond like here's a number um, that's really really cool like even when the PS4 takes a screenshot the moment you've got a trophy like does you get a small kick out of that because you get to look back at it and see the exact moment it happened that's really cool but now if you're going to give people stuff for it I think that's really smart and you know bringing back letting people like customize and letting people like unlock a platinum and then like have some meaningful way of be reminded of that on, on their ui or you know when other people see it like, i think that's really really clever and just a smart thing to do joining us once again now that the final embargo for xbox series x is up we've got our tech expert michael hyam what up y'all it's good to be back yeah, it's great to have you back. So we asked, uh, we called out for questions for you now that you can talk about pretty much everything to do with the Series X. And boy, did the comments deliver. So let's get through them. Tam, do you want to go first? So the first question comes from the Twitter user at Games and the GP, which I hope stands for General Practitioner. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and not Gameplay. <laughs> uh, Giant Peach! Giant no. Peach. No, 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 no. Question about the Xbox. Possibly already asked, does having a Series X mean you can't have another Xbox One set as your home Xbox? Can you use both at the same time, games and all? And then there's a smiley here, which is like calf smile, which is the creepy one. No, um, it's not the creepy one. It is the creepy one. Michael? I all right. I like, I like this one. <laughs> this one, this is a pleasant smiley. <laughs> well, I can't see it, but what I can see is the answer to this question. Uh, which is uh, the Series X works just like another Xbox. So you can set a one or the Series X as your home console and it'll function the same way you do when you set another Xbox as your home console. So I set the Series X as the home console. And then uh, of course you can only uh, sign in as one account at a time, but setting your home Xbox, if you know, means that anyone who uses that Xbox can play any of your games that are loaded onto that system. Uh, so it works the same way it always has. So you don't need to worry about having to adjust uh, your plans of like, okay, which is going to be the home Xbox. So, um, yeah, you don't have to you don't have to learn anything new with it. It's just again, Xbox treats it uh, the Series X or the Series S as just another Xbox within the same platform ecosystem. All right, Michael, coming to you from YouTube. This is from E or 
E or whatever. It's just it's just the letter E. So who knows? Maybe but... it's the, maybe it's the guy who used to work for Xbox. Oh yeah. Oh no, was e. oh no, was he just J? No, he was E. He was E. I think it was E. I'm yeah. thinking of yeah. Philip J. Fry. Homer J. Simpson. E for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> e. A. <laughs> no, it's just the E. <laughs> E A Sports. It's in the game. But coming from E, what about apps on an HD? Will you still need to transfer to the Series X SSD to make them run, or will they run off the hard drive? Uh, they can run off of a hard drive. Uh, actually, I just tested this out right now, so I moved uh, <laughs> Crunchyroll, my uh, Xbox hey. Crunchyroll app, onto uh, a hard drive, and it works just, just the same. Uh, so you can move apps. I think uh, there are... There might be some exceptions. I don't think I can. So Microsoft Edge, which is the web browser, uh, there's no way to like move it. I think it's just ingrained into the Xbox. So I didn't have an option to move that over to a hard drive. But these things take up so, such little space that I don't really see it as a problem. But if you do want to keep all of your like streaming apps or extraneous apps on onto a hard drive instead of keeping it internal, you can do that. Um, you know. These aren't these aren't Series X enhanced apps, so uh, yeah, they'll work straight off of a hard drive. I was gonna say that's got big. Uh, please tell your friends about this show. Energy for uh, Microsoft Edge. Uh, no, no one. Uh, Seven two three nine. Can you use them all at once? I assume he's meaning hard drives, uh, like an expansion slot and a bulk USB drive. Yeah, you can plug in all of your drives. There's three USB ports. I think they're all they're all USB uh, Super Speed uh, 3.0, uh, and then there's the expansion slot, so you can technically have four drives connected to the Xbox at once, and the Series X will recognize all those drives at once, so you can use any of the games or apps that are in between all of those drives, no problem. Uh, David, which is David with a GE after it, asks, does the Seagate game drive, four terabyte external hard drive portable HDD designed for Xbox One work on the Series X? And if so, how fast would it be? It only costs around a hundred bucks on Amazon, which is why I ask. So I personally don't have the, the Seagate game drive that was built specific, specifically for the Xbox One, but that drive will work and it will be treated as any other hard drive that's connected to the Series X. And I think we might get into this later, but um, if it's already formatted for Xbox One games, you don't need to reformat it. So if there's any existing games on that drive, plug it in, Series X will recognize all those things uh, immediately without a problem. So um, yeah, not only like our accessories all back and pat, but of course hard drives are treated uh, all the same uh, as long as they are formatted and using USB 3.0. Uh, with the Series X. And in terms of like how fast would it be, Michael's got a write up around the Xbox Series X on the site and what what kind of your, were your takeaways in terms of using a classic style hard, hard drive with the Series X? Um, at least when I tested with the Series X, the, the hard drive that I did use, which was uh, Western Digital My Passport, uh, that was also a four terabyte drive, uh, used a USB 3.0 cable and the load times were pretty decent and the transfer speeds were decent as well. The load times were actually faster than the internal Xbox One X hard drive. And I think this has to do with the way that the, the Series X kind of decompresses and reads data off of it, which is a lot more efficient than the Xbox One generation. Uh, so you will see a benefit there just by virtue of how the Series X is built. Uh, and I imagine that if you use that, that same Seagate drive that you have been using with the Xbox One, you will see some slight improvements uh, over the series uh, when you use it on the Series X and Series S. Uh, that is extrapolation based on the data that I have using my own hard drive. A wild wooloo appears asking, oh, I kind of like that. It, I imagine now like the sword and shield like battle music playing and an actual like wooloo appearing out of the oh, grass. I love this question. Uh, I love the idea of a wooloo appearing with questions about Xbox Series X. <laughs> Michael, I have questions. Uh, <laughs> A wild wooloo appears asking, hey Michael, any word if we can use more than one official external SSD? Would be nice if we could slot two one terabyte SSD cards. Nah, as as of right now, or I guess for the, the foreseeable future, these uh, the Series X or uh, the Series consoles are going to have one of the storage expansion slots specifically for that, that one terabyte expansion card. Uh, so yeah, you can only slot in one. I mean, you could 
by multiple, I guess, if you really want to ball out and then just keep sw uh, swapping them in and out. But on the Series X and the Series S, there's only one expansion card slot. Uh, of course, like I said, you can use USB drives, uh, but it's not the same because you won't be able to play Series X and S games straight off of a USB drive. Just got to transfer them. But I mean, yeah, you can only uh, slot in one of those expansion cards. Um, but yeah, like so far, one terabyte's available. And I think that's that's plenty of space. It's also kind of expensive, yeah, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, those that's kind of what that's what you're working with for now. Uh, Alejandro de Paula says, "Is there information about whether the oh good lord <laughs> Xbox Series <laughs> well because he's written it out X S X slash S, which mm -hmm. not easy to say. But the Series X or Series S will be compatible with the Connect Two and the Connect adapter for Xbox One." S slash X, and if voice commands will still work on the new generation of consoles. Uh, Connect will not work with the Series X or the Series S, as one Phil Spencer said himself. Um, yeah, there's the Series X and Series S consoles strip. Just don't, uh, they don't, they don't play with the Connect. So that's unfortunate. But I think it's one of those things that like Microsoft and Xbox had to leave behind in order to move on to the next generation. Um, so I guess that's unfortunate for some, but yeah, that is the reality of Connect. Connect is straight up dead. Hate to see it. Next question comes from the console killer. Ooh, it's relax. a bit ominous. Yeah. Does that make <laughs> does it make this person a PC gamer? Who knows? Um, great video. Thank you. Whatever video oh, it is you. that you're referring to. It was Michael's um, video. Yeah, Michael's video. <laughs> but I'm taking it. I'm taking it for this video as well. <laughs> what did I say? Uh, one thing I haven't seen covered, I already have many Xbox One games on a regular external hard drive. Will those work on in, on the Series X or do I need to format the hard drive and re-download all of them? So you mentioned this earlier, if you want to mm -hmm. restate for clarity. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I mentioned it uh, earlier in an, another answer, but yes, as long as it's formatted for the Xbox One, uh, you'll be able to plug it right into the Series X or Series S and it'll work straight up as if you plugged it into another Xbox One. So uh, no need to like uh, re-download or reformat that drive. Um, so I actually just did that right now. I had Final Fantasy 15 on an external drive. I plugged it into my Xbox One X or Bless's Xbox One X and then it turned like I was able to play the game straight off that. Pulled that out, put it into my uh, Series X, was able to play it off that drive right then and there. Uh, straight up. So yeah, no need to have to re-download or reformat drives. It's all the same ecosystem, so it all works together. Lovely. Well, Michael, thank you so much for joining us again to talk about Xbox Series X. Uh, and thank you all for joining us for another episode of Generation Next. It's so close to the launch of PS5 and Xbox Series S and X now, so make sure you join us again next week. Bye. But I'm not done yet. Hello. In classic Generation Next style, Something happened after we'd already finished filming and the video is almost done in the edit. Um, yes, we have the PlayStation 5. We will tell you everything we know about it as soon as we can. Uh, keep your eyes peeled to Generation Next every Friday. Look at it. It's here. I can stop complaining now. <laughs>